The UK's data watchdog has warned that thousands of private webcam images have appeared on a Russian website without the owners knowing. Now, many of the cameras are made by this company, Foscam, and uh, here with me is Costas, who's going to explain how that's come to happen. But first, before we do that, explain to me um, why what people would use one of these cameras for. Um, for all sorts of reasons. Baby monitoring is a very popular one. Uh, monitoring elderly parents or um, security for your home, business, um, and pets a very popular one as well. So these are security cameras that you can fix anywhere in your, in your house, around any place, and they connect That's to right. the internet so you can watch them That's right, um, yep. from, from a different location. Yep, you can watch them from your smartphone, tablet, um, PCs, remotely, um, or from the premises itself. So how did images from cameras like these that people thought were secret, how did they end up on this Russian website? Well, with the older model cameras, they came with a default username and no password. So it was very easy to find out what they would be, just like other products and devices, um, they come with default usernames and passwords. So the key thing here is to, to change or to use a password. So what people were doing was buying the older versions and rather than changing it to a unique password that only they knew, they were, they were using one that anyone could, could yeah. find out and, and, and use. So uh, what have you done about that in some of the newer models? Well, with the newer models like the one you have here, um, basically you cannot log into the camera at all without changing the username and password. The software that's built into the camera forces you to change the username and password, tells you the strength of that password. Um, so we advise using capitals, lowercase, numbers, characters, change it up every now and again. So this is a problem that Foscam and the other manufacturers have known about for quite some time. We've had a lot of media reports where these cameras have been accessed. Um, what has the company done to make sure the customers affected are being told about this so they can do something about it? Well, the manufacturer sent out newsletters and put the notice on the website and on Facebook, etc. We, the distributor Foscam UK and others around the world, have obviously sent out newsletters to customers informing them to add user password or change the current passwords. Um, but also they can go to our website foscamuk.co.uk forward slash downloads and check for the latest firmware where there would be some security updates and things like that that would also be beneficial. The problem of course with that is that many people won't see those newsletters, they'll ignore the notices. That's I mean, what, right. Th what else can a, uh, can a company like Foscam do just to make sure people really pay attention to that? Well this is why we're happy that you invited us today to obviously um, put it out there um, you know, using the BBC's audience because it's a wide audience and uh, uh, hopefully people will start using passwords and be more cautious when they're using devices connected to the internet.